Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So I'm so excited for today's video because I have some new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks to introduce to you guys. I'm going to be swatching them, uh, swatching them on my lips, talking about them, and doing some comparisons between the other shades in her line. So if you're interested in seeing the new Hot Lips 2 collection from Charlotte Tilbury, then just keep watching. So this is the Hot Lips 2. There was previously just a regular Hot Lips collection which was inspired by women and icons. Same thing in this collection. So she released 11 shades. I picked up 10 because one of them was just like a clear balm and I wasn't about to spend money on that. <laughs> so I picked up 10 of the 11 shades. They're all inspired from Charlotte's icons, which she describes as rule breakers, record makers, and history shakers. They are all supposed to be universally flattering shades. And the exciting thing about this is that they come in five different refillable cases. So I will explain what I mean by that in a moment. But first, let me get through the prices of these with you. So they are currently available right now on the Charlotte Tilbury website, online only. And the lipstick with the case is going to be $37. There also is a refillable option, which you can just pull out. And this option is going to be $25. So you save $12. I purchased all of them in the cases just because I think that's kind of a pain in the butt with the whole refillable situation. So let me go through and show you the cases. So this first one, you have this gorgeous like red leopard case, super beautiful. And then we have, I'm guessing this is a leopard, but this one's really cute too. We have this sassy cheetah print, probably my favorite case in the collection. And then we have, I guess it's like a funky geometric design really cute this one is also really pretty it's kind of like a night sky inspiration super pretty i do love charlotte tilbury's original gold packaging it's so luxurious and i love how all of her lipsticks look together however i have been waiting for her to change up the packaging i was bored i have enough lipsticks that look like that and for a collection you know that's your chance to play around with the packaging so i've called this i've been waiting for it and i'm so excited that she came out with these really cute cases you do not get an option to pick which case you want. Uh, if you buy the lipstick with the case, it comes with a predetermined case, but you will see online what they are. So if you were excited about being able to choose the case, you really don't get to. Personally, I think they're all cute. I didn't really care. And then as I showed you, you can mix and match uh, these and put them in other ones, and you can just buy this one and put them in a case. So you can switch that up. Michelle Wong, she raised a great point that there is no color name on the refills, but there is the color name that's at the bottom, which just don't mix them up because you'll forget the color shade. So that is kind of a downfall, but personally it doesn't really bother me just because I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I'd rather just keep it in the case that it comes in. So the scent on these is kind of a soft creamy vanilla scent almost like vanilla icing really like it it's not too overpowering but it is subtle and you don't smell it when it's on your lips if you aren't aware i am already obsessed with the charlotte tilbury lipstick formula it's probably my favorite formula in the game i just love their kissing formula that's my favorite it's like a really creamy lipstick with a sheen finish to it i'm wearing glowing gen right now this is a kissing formulation and as you can see it is shiny it's moisturizing some of these also have the charlotte tilbury matte finish which i'm not a big matte lipstick kind of person but she definitely has the best matte formula because they are still moisturizing on the lips so you're not going to get a super long wear with her matte formula but it's comfortable it's a comfortable matte and i personally prefer that the lipsticks glide on it's just so easy to reapply so formulation wise these are intact with her regular formula so i really do enjoy these lipsticks but most importantly we need to get into the colors just so you know whenever you buy a charlotte tilbury lipstick you're not going to be disappointed in my opinion now i did swatch all of these without a lip liner because i didn't want that to change the true color so let's get into it so the first color that we have here is dance floor princess it is a dreamy pink cool girl pink lipstick 
an homage to Kylie Minogue. This is the second lightest shade in the collection. It's a really pretty nude. I think with the right lip liner, I'm going to love this. If you are very fair, you don't even need a lip liner with this. It's still really, really good. It is that kissing formula. The next lipstick I have is Angel Alessandra. This is a perfect sunset peachy nude lipstick inspired by the ultimate Victoria's Secret Angel Alessandra Ambrosio. Sorry if I mispronounce any of these names, just go with it. Uh, again, this is a really pretty peachy nude shade, so if you're into a peachy nude, I think you will really like this shade. And this is a kissing formula. The next shade we have here is Glowing Gen. In my opinion, I think this might be my favorite one in the collection. It's the one that I'm wearing right now throughout the video. It's a kissing formula, and it is described as a universal tawny beachy rose lipstick in homage to the lovely Jennifer Aniston. And this is definitely like a tawny rose shade. I think this is going to be the most universally flattering. It's going to look so good on so many skin tones. It's easy to just throw on. It is the kissing formula. And if you were to get one lipstick, I would recommend this one. This one is my favorite. So the next shade that we have is is in love with Olivia. This is described as a super flattering, sumptuous pink lipstick in homage to Olivia Palermo. This is a really gorgeous pinky nude. So if you're looking for a light pinky nude, this one is for you. I think this one's going to look really nice on light skin tones. This next one is called JK Magic. It is a super flattering pink kissed with nude lipstick in homage to JK Rowling. This is the kind of nudist lipstick on my personal skin tone. It blinks me out the most, but in a good way. It's a very pink, light nude with almost a more neutral undertone to it. This is going to look so gorgeous with a brown lipstick, in my opinion. I really like this one. This one also is one of my favorites. So if you like a really light, pinky nude lip, you're going to like the JK Magic one. So the next shade that I have here is Karina's Star. This is a fresh, illuminated, modern peachy soft coral in homage to Karina Lau and this is probably the most unique shade to my collection. This is going to be super fun for the summer and it really is a peachy soft coral. Uh, so if you're looking for something really unique that you probably don't have in your collection, I would go for this one. I think it is so pretty. I'm glad I picked this up because it's different and it's going to be fun for the summer and it really does light up your face. This is Charlotte's matte finish, by the way. The next shade that we have is Amazing Amal. This is an elegant, soft, warm berry pink lipstick in homage to Amal Clooney. If you really like that deeper lip without being too deep, I think you will really like this. Medium skin tones, this is gonna look fabulous on you if you're very fair and you want a bold lip. This lets you be bold without being too crazy dark. So this is going to look so good on a range of skin tones, but it's going to work so different for every skin tone. And I think that's really awesome. That one color can look so different on so many people, but still be super flattering. That, by the way, is also a matte finish. Next one, this is fun. This is Red Hot Susan. This is a universally flattering tawny orange red lipstick and homage to Susan Sarandon I believe is how you say it but yeah this is definitely a really fun orange lipstick I think if you have a yellow undertone to your skin this is going to look very beautiful on you it's very bright it's fun I don't have a lot of orange red lipsticks and the ones that I do they're almost too orange so I think this is the perfect blend of the two shades so I do really like this one it is a matte finish and it is super comfortable and flattering on my skin tone and I think it will be on a lot of different skin tones as well. This next one for me personally isn't my favorite shade. This is Viva La Vergara. Uh, this is a flattering soft wine matte lipstick in homage to Sofia Vergara, which by the way, I love her. I personally wasn't super crazy about it on me, but it is really pretty. If you like shades like this, it has a little bit of a brown to it, and normally I like a brown lipstick, but I just think there are so many great colors in here, and that's why this one wasn't my favorite. If I had bought it standalone, I definitely would have loved it. This is a matte finish, beautiful, soft, and I think that's going to look super pretty on medium skin tones. So the last one that I have here is Patsy Red. This lipstick is inspired by her mom, Patsy Tilbury, and I really like this lipstick because it's red without being too crazy 
crazy bright red. If you want to kind of ease into red lipsticks, but you don't want it to be this bright cherry red on your lips, I think you will really like this. So it's not the most wearable red in the world, but it's not a cherry hot red pink. Um, it has a little bit of pink undertones to it, but it is very flattering and it's not too over the top. So this is going to make your lips stand out without being too crazy like, whoa, she's wearing red today. So that just about sums it up for the lipstick swatches. So I did film some comparisons for you uh, using the other Charlotte Tilbury shades that I do own. I tried to swatch it with colors that I thought were similar or colors that they reminded me of in her line. So I'm just going to forward straight into that. All right, so here are the colors that I am comparing to Dance Floor Princess. So the one right next to it is Kim KW. The third color that we have is Bitch Perfect. A little bit more bright, um, a tad bit lighter. And then we have Pillow Talk. I think if you like Pillow Talk, Talk, you will really like Dance Floor Princess. And then we have Super Cindy, which is a little bit more salmon-y, and then Live It Up, which is much more of a brighter pink. Okay, so the next color I am comparing is the Angel Alessandra. So I feel like this color is very unique. I definitely personally do not have a Charlotte Tilbury color that is super close to it. Uh, but the second one that we have is Bitch Perfect. The third one is Stone Rose. And the fourth one is Penelope Pink. Um, and as you can see, the Angel Alessandra is a little bit more orange. Right, so here I have Glowing Jen, and I feel like this one does have a couple similar matches. So the second one is Stone Rose, then Super Sexy, Walk of Shame, and then Bond Girl. I feel like it is very similar to Walk of Shame and Bond Girl, but it does have a much more shiny finish to it. So this was another one that I thought I could find a lot of dupes for, but... Yeah, I kind of struggled. So the first one is In Love With Olivia, then we have Supermodel, and then Bitch Perfect. So here we have JK Magic. I feel like this one is the most comparable in the line that I could find. As you can see, no exact dupes, but some are very close. So in the order, we have JK Magic, then Pillow Talk, Rose Kiss, Bitch Perfect, Supermodel, super sexy and stoned rose so i think stone rose might be the closest okay so the shade i'm comparing is karina's star so we have in this order karina's star then super sexy then stoned rose coachella coral and amazing grace so here i have amazing ale as the first color and here i'm comparing it to super sexy walk of shame and bond girl so the color I'm comparing everything to is Red Hot Susan, so that's the first color, and then we have Super Sexy, and then So Marilyn, and then Red Carpet Red. As you can see, Red Hot Susan has a bit more of a orange undertone to it. So the first color here is Viva La Vergara, and then I'm comparing it to Secret Salma, then Walk of Shame, Super Sexy, and then finally Bond Girl. All right, so the first color that we have is Patsy Red. The second one is also from this collection, but I did want to compare the two reds for you. So that is Red Hot Susan. And then the third color from the regular line is Red Carpet Red. And then the last one is So Marilyn. All right, guys. That is about all that I have for you guys today. I did want to shout out a couple of my favorite shades for you if you were curious about my personal top picks. So the first one which I recommend for everybody is Glowing Jen. That is the one that I'm wearing right now. I think it is absolutely stunning and I think it's one of the most universally flattering ones as well. Because I love a really light, neutral nude lip, I also love JK Magic. I think it's just so pretty. So if you really like that light color with some lip liner, I also think you will really like that one. Karina Star, it's not my favorite on myself, but it's so unique that I'm so happy to have it in my collection. So if you're looking for something that's really going to stand out in your collection, I really think you should give Karina Star a go. It's super pretty and fun for the summer. I also gotta give it to Red Hot Susan, just because 
it's very difficult for me to find a orangey red that I love and I love this orangey red. I love that it's not an orange that's unflattering on me or it doesn't run too orange. It's that perfect combination of orange red and uh, it's really fiery and hot and I love it. I think it's going to be so fun for the summer. So anyways, that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you picked up any shades, let me know and let me know what your favorite shade was that I swatched today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to link down below my other Charlotte Tilbury lipstick swatches down below for you because I have a ton of those videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you take the time to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good day.